Welcome to Africa React. Today we'll be reacting to the story of these Kenyan inventors who built a biorobotic prosthetic arm. Two Kenyan inventors have created a biorobotic prosthetic arm. This is not a new invention, but there is something interesting about this. It is operated by brain signals. Let us take a look. It is not a scene from a sci-fi movie. This shiny robotic arm was created by two Kenyan inventors. The prosthetic arm is operated by brain signals. This biorobotic hand uh, uses those brain signals and converts those brain signals, uh, uh, amplifies them, filters them, then converts them into electronic current. And this electronic current is further uh, pushed forward to the uh, circuit of the robot, meaning it can convert user's thought into robotic arm movement. The inventors dropped out of college after completing Form 4 because they could no longer afford school fees. But despite the ordeal, they are determined to help persons living with disabilities. The reason why we designed this by a robotic hand is because we wanted to help those people who, ha who have lost uh, the use of their limbs, the disabled people. Our aim is to give them something that will help them or will, will aid them to go into their daily activities in order not to be a dependent pe uh, person, to move from a dependent person to an independent person. The prosthetic arm is made from recycled wood and other materials. Despite its potential, lack of funds is hampering mass production. Such invention of prosthetic arms and, and such level of technology uh, will go in a big way not just improving our economy in terms of production, uh, but, but, but also making it more acceptable to society. It's not bulky, it's, it's not bulky. It's, it's, it's easier for the persons with the ability to handle them. It, it, it's, quite, it's quite a game changer. In Kenya... Welcome to Afrogenesis Systems Online Biorobotics Neural Prosthesis. Afrogenesis, where we are interfacing man with machine. My name is David Gadojeri. I co-founded this structured scientific organization together with my partner Moses Kuna. The biorobotic prosthesis and uh, neuroelectrodynamics. Uh, we are the Afrogenesis. The, where we are transforming challenges into possibilities. My name is Moses Kiyunan Jaroge. Since my childhood, I've been a curious and a passionate innovator mm -hmm. in the world of tech and entrepreneurship and also business. As you all know, the content of your character is, de is determined by choice. Day by day, what you choose, what you do, what you think is whom you become. Ten years of experience have helped me to be a self-taught innovator our aim in this structured scientific organization that we started 14 years ago, it is to come up with a bilateral prosthesis, uh, biorobotic prosthesis, bilateral structured machine unit uh, that will aid with the mobility or help persons living with disabilities uh, to move from being dependent persons to independent persons. Uh, and by touching their heart, touching their mind, touching their uh, souls, uplifting their spirits, um, that's where our country will have an economic growth. Bio robotic prosthetic arm system unexposed. We have done field research, going to various homes for persons living with disability, uh, interacting with them. <coughs> After that, we after interacting with them and doing the field research, we came up with an idea. That is, we have already made up an AI device that you can speak to. We have nicknamed it Jeff. Its purpose to help for persons living with disability, you can interact with it. Please wait until you see a color blue light, then say the word system to wake me up, Jeff. 
is the password you are going to use to get into the system. Then after several beeps, I will respond to you through the following words. Yes, Sema, Nakuskia. Then ask what you want to be assisted with. Example, like turn on the lights, turn on TV. What is the time? Umi, Lander. The following phone systems are underway. Booting. Infinix. Techno. Itel. It's a very interesting machine. With it in the house, because some one of the challenges that we found, they were so lonely. And they didn't, most of them, they weren't able to do the daily activities. Like maybe going to switch on the lights, changing the TV stations. It was also a main challenge to them. Elbow, level, Y, axis, articulation. System initiated. Now this is a biolobotic prosthesis, bilateral structured machine unit that uses blind signals to operate. It uses this neural road bio. David Gatu and Moses Kinyua, both alien from Kenya, have always been passionate about technology and its potential to change lives. They embarked on the mission to make a lasting impact on the field of medicine by developing a revolutionary prosthetic limb. After years of research and dedication, their hard work culminated in the creation of the world's first biorobotic arm. So what makes this biorobotic arm so special? Unlike traditional prosthetics, Gatsu and Kinyua's creation is operated by brain signals, making it incredibly responsive and intuitive for the user. The arm is equipped with advanced sensors that pick up signals from the user's brain, translating them into precise movement. The biorobotic arm is fitted with cutting-edge technology, including a sophisticated neural interface that connects directly to the user's brain. This interface decodes the neural signals, allowing the individual to control the robotic arm with remarkable accuracy. The device is not only capable of replicating natural limb movement, but can also adapt to various tasks, from delicate actions to more robust activities. The implications of Gatu and Kinyua's invention on the field of medicine are immense. The biorobotic arm has the potential to significantly improve the quality of life for amputees and individuals with mobility challenges. Its versatility and adaptability make it a game changer in prosthetics, opening up new possibilities for those who rely on artificial limbs. The journey to creating the world's first biorobotic arm was not without its challenges. Gatu and Kinyua face obstacles, both technical and financial, but their unwavering commitment and determination led them to success. As they continue refining their invention, the duo aims to make the technology more accessible and affordable, ensuring that people around the world can benefit from the groundbreaking innovation. The story of David Gatu and Moses Kinyua is a testament to the power of innovation and determination. Their creation, the world's first biorobotic arm operated by brain signals, has the potential to transform the lives of countless individuals. We will be keeping a close eye on their journey as they work towards making this groundbreaking technology widely available. If you found this story as fascinating as we did, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more inspiring African stories of innovation right here on Historica Africa.